you'll press shift here and then you'll press song which will be the f1 and then you'll say new and right there right you'll press new for the song if you want to name it you'll press f1 you're going to execute a new song get ready to write a new song you'll press execute right here okay. right there right yeah so if you're not going to do a new song you go back to and press exit which will be here on your f6 Mm -hmm. So we exit out. We say select. Select will be the song that's already in here, and we execute. Okay. And it says select song number two. Initialize. You press yes, and it says reload current. You say yes. Gotcha. So it'll go back to your original song. Mm, cool. All right. So that your original song loads back in from there. Alrighty. So if you're going to make a new song again, you press shift and F1. And you press new. Or yeah. if it's an older song that's already in, you press select. And you see you got two listed in here. You take yeah. your rotator dial, you switch down to the second song, you press execute. Okay, it says select song sure you press yes it says store the current song which is storing the song that's already in it you say yes to store the current song so it saves it yeah so now you got the second song loading mm -hmm. it's complete load and you have tracks that are highlighted I mean, be tracks five and six yeah um, and that's what you have on track five and six right now. I got you. Okay, so you go back to zero, and we'll say we're going to not listen to that one. You want to go back to your old song, you press F1, F1. the shift, and the F1, and you select the song, and you take your rotator dial, go back to highlight over top of your song, press execute, you say select song, sure, you press yes again, and store current song, you say yes. And then it'll go back to your original song. Good deal. All right. Okay, so now your new, your old song is loaded back right up. Right there. And you can hear it comes in. Interesting. Okay. Now if you're ready to create a new song, you press the shift. And song again, F1. You press new. New. And if you want to name the song, you name it. If you're ready to execute, you go ahead execute. and press execute. And it asks you create new song, you'll say yes. Mm -hmm. And it says store current song, you say yes. Mm -hmm. And then it'll go to a new window, open up everything, and you're ready to load for recording a new song. All right. So you'll have all empty tracks of this new song. Cool. Now, when you're ready to record a new song, you come over to the track that you want to arm 1 through 18. Say if you want to put something on track number 3. Like if I was doing a keyboard. If you want to do a keyboard, you could do here on 3. Yes, that's the rehearsal phase is orange. The red is red for recording. Recording. And it arms the track here also on your window mm -hmm. for it. So whatever you plug into it, you can monitor it. From here, green is for play. The orange is for rehearsal mode. And the red, and the is, red is armed for recording. When you get ready to record, make sure that your track is lit and it's blinking. You'll press record, button the red button to arm it. And when you're ready to start recording, you press play. And it'll start recording. Gotcha. So the guitar is always eight, right? The guitar goes in through high Z jack. High Z jack? High Z jack on the back. There's eight high Z jack. You put your guitars there. Gotcha. So it's always number eight. Right. You can do a guitar on eight. You can also do uh, the bass or anything else on a different line as well. And, and that, that way you'll have it. Like a... Now, since this is a new song and nothing's recorded, if you don't want to just waste your time, you go back to Shift and F1. It says Select. Now, you see you have three songs in here. You got... One, two. Song one, two, and then you have song 613. Now, what happens is 
it puts the date in. Gotcha. Of, of the song. Okay, your original song, this one here, which shows that it was done 928. Okay, yeah. your first song, 920. And this one's 614, 2007. So it's not in this song here. There's nothing on it. Yeah. So we'll press exit. This song here that we're not going to keep. You see, select new name, project, optimize, and arrange. Mm -hmm. You go press your page button, and then it'll say erase. You highlight erase. And then we and get rid of it. It's the song that we're on now. Yeah. Okay. The, 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 so the latest one. We're going to press exit, right. And you just press the page button again, and you press here, and it goes back to the song. So you see, nothing's on this song here. It shows the date in the window at the time or at the mm -hmm. top, 9-28-2020. So we're not going to keep that since nothing's on it, so you don't want to take up extra space. Yeah, uh, it's not needed. It's not needed. So we go here, we press page, we got a song, okay, the utility and everything. So shift, song, arrange, erase. Press erase, yeah. and that's the one for right now. Mm -hmm. You say execute, no target song selected. So, the song that we're going to target is this one. So, we want to highlight that one. You press execute, but you don't have to worry about it, it's just exit. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably have to do it back with you, back, 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 so that I get it. Okay. <laughs> so this song right here, we're gonna mark it. You press mark, and now that song is highlighted. So with your icon of the picture of the song, and it says execute. Are you sure you want to delete it? Song, delete it. Are you sure? It. it says yes. You press yes. And then it asks you again, are you really sure? You say yes. Yeah. And so it gets rid of that. So you press yes again, and it gets rid of it. All righty. Man, the only thing that's in here is your original song and yeah. the one we just did. And yep. the one you had before. Yeah. So you don't have that. Then when you get ready to shut down, every time you get ready to do a song, you want to make sure that you store it when you save it. Yeah. You press shift and store. So shift. Store. And store. That's shift and shut down. Mm -hmm. So we're saying, no, we're not shutting down yet. You just shift and store song. I can't see what it's like. Oh, I'm sorry. No, get out of the way. No, it's not you. Yeah, I might have to do it back, back with you, so that at least I know what I'm doing. Okay. This, this way, I know what I'm doing, and I don't have to uh, pester you too much about it. <laughs> okay. Now you see this here. Mm -hmm. You can see stores here. Song top, song in, shut down, and you did, and restart. So, if you want to do the shift and store, you press shift. And store, store, okay. Yeah, so that way you already know the store. You say yes. So the song is saved. Yep. All right. Now, we're cutting off. You always press shift and, and shut down. Shut down. Shut down. It says you ready to shut down. You say yes. Yep. It says store current song. Say yes. Gotcha. Okay, now, uh, I'm going to record all the songs in there. It'll shut it down to rest. Now, if you don't want to, you figured you want to do another song instead of cutting it off, and it says power off or restart, you can press this button that says restart right here, and it will restart everything. So I would need so to. So we're going to power off right now. Okay? Alrighty, bear right friend. So you just hold it, power off, and you're good to go. Good deal. Alright, let me, uh, 
do it back to you, back with you, so that I know what I'm doing. If you know what I mean. Right. Right. Cause uh, uh, yeah. This isn't doing numbers for my back, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, <whew. laughs> this is, uh, all righty. Let me go. I should press the exit button right here. Exit. No, wait a minute. So, I, if I want to get out of the song, I would... If you want to change to another song? Yeah. Press just shift and F1. Shift, F1. All right. And then... Uh, select. Select, that's the first one. Right. And... You're going to need to press... Oh, I pressed the page button by mistake. Right, okay. So and then so select, select, that's F1. Okay, and then you got two songs in here that you can select. Now, if you need to go to the next song, you would move Just it down. Just rotate. Right, and then that way you can you can pick which song you want. Okay, and if I want to exit, I just have to press F6. Right. Then F2 is new, right? Right, that's for a new song. And then the first thing you would get is the name. That's and then... Uh, name it or execute it. I'm going to press the F5 button, F4 button, right? Right. And it asks, are you ready to create, create a new, new song? song. And I would yes. press, uh, let me see here. It would be, yes, right there. And then it asks you again, are you sure? Yep. You press yes. Okay, so initializing a new song. And mm -hmm. it's bringing the new song format up, which would be number 001. Fair enough. Okay. So, so then I would def. You have 18 empty tracks. So I'm just going to use track. If I was going to use track one to. I would press the track. Right, you press the track that you're gonna use. You need to select it. It's got a highlight. Uh, uh, number on. three. Okay, the, right, but you still need to do the bottom one as well. Uh, this one here. Right, that is, it needs to be lit up though. Okay, now it's on for practice mode. And then uh, red mode on it. That's that would be a bottom. Red mm -hmm. mode is for recording. There you go. And then uh, if I wanted to. If I want to record, I would just press this red button and this white button here. Right. Okay. I don't need to record, so I'll just turn that off. Turn this off, I think. Hmm. I would need to... I can... That's a select the button. Then track, so you don't have to worry about that right now. Yeah, right now. Because I don't have the keyboard hooked up yet. <laughs> But if, and then that's a two-channel mixer there, and you have a three-channel mixer as well when you want to mix some okay. of your uh, how do, songs. And like now, I said, if you want to get out of there, you would go to where? Go to the page here, and that would take you back to your monitor screen. Gotcha. And, and then, then I would... It's a display screen. <clears throat> then I would need to... Uh, I would need to exit or something. And like if I don't want to record, I would press exit. Yeah, you press exit to get out. Press uh, shift. Oh, yeah. Press the shift button. And what else? And I... Shut down. You going to close it out? Uh, shut down. I, 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 like I said, I want to get out of this and shift. Press the stop button. Shut down. Eject. And then press yes, yes, again. Danny had sent somebody to say attachment unavailable. And they must have took it down uh, on Facebook. That does not surprise me. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, they do that a lot now. Yeah, this. Something is inappropriate. Mm. yeah that does not surprise me. It was coming. It actually, yeah, I actually saw that coming. Actually, yeah, so I'm, I'm not on that page now where it says. Then all you have to do is press your power button. Power button. Right, and we'll just set it off. There we go. But if I wanted to kind of stop this, to just cancel to get out of the song. Uh, to just get out of a song. 
Yeah, I just yeah, want to. But if you just want to get out of the song, you would just stop that song and, and go back to your selectors and switch to another. Yeah, song. I've got to. I'm going to have to practice that. <laughs> uh, yeah, and let me go. Yeah, recording is different now. Let me go yeah, to. Uh, Every machine is a little different. Go ahead and. Uh, okay, so first loading up. Yeah. yeah, it's already loaded up. So okay, so now go to Shift and F one. Shift, F one. Okay, now press your select. There you go. Okay, now you got three songs there. So if you want to change to another one, that, get away from. Just the, uh. Take your cursor okay. over to the one that you want. And, and this then, is the. That's the first one. That's the one that you just did with nothing on it. Yeah. So if you want to erase that, you press erase. But the other ones, if you want to go to another song. Just highlight the song. Let me go over. It says, uh, list, execute. Right. Mm. Oh, you have to select the song first. Yeah, you gotta select the song that you want. Hmm. And press that yes button. Reload current, no. <laughs> mm. Okay, so highlight another song. There you go. Now... Gotta press the execute. Execute and let's uh write here. Okay. Yeah. Press yes again. Uh, this is not Phew. There we go. And then we want to uh Going to press shift and F1. Go to song again. And just do that. Okay, now. Uh -huh. Press execute. Execute. And hit yes again. That's the one with nothing on it. Right, that's the one with nothing on it. So it's either it's just taking up space right now. So if you don't want it now, you could press Shift, Shift F1. F1. Right, and do your page. Press your page. Button. That, that page button right here, right. and then so go to, to erase. Press erase. erase. Press execute. Let's do well. Mark first. We need to mark first. Go to mark. And that's uh. Right here, mark. Oh yeah. Sorry. Press mark. So you gotta highlight the icon that you're erasing. Then press execute. Mm, right so, there. Uh, right. Are you sure you want to erase yeah. yeah. And then yeah again. And one more time. Say good night. <laughs> and it's gone. Phew. And now it's gone. Okay. What a load is a regular song. All right. Good deal. That way you won't.